Anytime I'm getting ready to do stitches on a character, I want to ensure that I have the right settings. Um, the stitches can be really funny at times. So I want to make sure that while I'm pulling my lines, um, they're nice and clean and that I'm not getting any step and repeat or kind of a chipped pattern. Uh, that can really ruin the effect. And so I tend to just go through the settings and make sure that my stroke is uh, coming nice and clean. If you go into the stroke and you actually adjust the lazy radius down, um, you'll begin to start to soften it. You also need to lower your lazy step from time to time and that gives you a nice clean line. So it's important that with each brush that you're planning on using, you kind of preset it and get it all ready. You also want to double check your intensity settings too because that's going to vary. So with stitches you have a choice to make. You can either use stitches that already come within ZBrush or that you can download off the internet. Uh, plus you can also make your own alphas. Uh, making your own are actually quite fun. They can be a bit challenging at times because you have to get them just right uh, without having any additional uh, geometry that causes issues. Uh, but some of the ones that come within ZBrush are just perfect to use as is and I have no problem working with the same stitch tools all the time. Uh, but I will from time to time build my own alphas just to add that little level of uniqueness so that my entire model doesn't look like it was just came from the presets uh, that come within ZBrush. Now again as I mentioned earlier you want to make sure you pull the line for each one of the stitches and then also adjust your intensity setting uh, after you play with the lazy step and the lazy radius. So all of that comes into play and that's the reason why I prefer to just do a couple of simple tests on a sphere before I start working on my actual model. So the next demonstration I'd like to show you is how to create an original stitch. There's a lot of areas in your character, such as the fold of a certain shirt or a patch, maybe even on a coat, that you want to create a unique stitch. You don't want to use something that is just an alpha. And so for that, I'm going to create a rivet and then put a stitch combining the two and then pulling it down into the shirt. So let me show you how I go about doing that. I'll switch right over to the clay tubes brush and I'll create two large circles. I'll then bring the draw size down slightly and I'll hold down the alt key and I'll go back down into the rivets. So that immediately gives me two rivets quickly. I'll then begin to carve down into the cloth to create the depression that the stitch will be pulling down the cloth. Next I'll release the Alt button and I'll begin to inflate the stitch up over the cloth. I'll pull a couple of lines and then I'll soften everything just gently with the smooth brush. Now I want to enhance the look by creating a couple of cloth folds and so I'm going to switch to the Orb Cracks brush and I'll pull a few S-shaped cracks. And then I'll switch back to the clay tubes and inflate the areas on the sides of the cracks. This will give me a nice up and down feel that I'll be able to enhance with the mech cut brush. So I'll smooth all of that first and then I'll switch over to the mech A and I'll go ahead and start pulling down into the crevices first just to pinch those areas nice and tight and then I'll carve on the sides of the plateaus to bring back that chiseled effect and feel. Again, always make sure that you smooth out the ends of your cloth folds just so that everything blends nicely into the fabric. Now to finish off this stitch, what I'll do is I'll switch back to the clay tubes, but this time I'll turn on a round alpha. 
and I'll just go over in a slight diagonal pattern over the stitch which will give the feeling of thread count. I'll pull away from the object just so I can see it from a distance and make sure everything reads well. You can see how nicely that came out and it was very quick and easy to do.